Greetings and welcome to the graphics class. Today we are going to discuss question number 8 of development of surfaces. A cone of base diameter 60 mm and height 70 mm is resting on HP on its base. A section plane inclined at 35 degree to HP perpendicular to VP and passing through the midpoint of the axis cuts the solid into two parts. Draw the development of the sectioned solid. A cone of base diameter 60 mm and height 70 mm is resting on HP on its base. This is what the question. You know how to draw the front view and the top view of the solid. Now, it is given that there is a section plane which is inclined at 35 degree to HP passing through the midpoint of the axis and perpendicular to B. So we will draw that there is a section plane which is passing through the midpoint of the axis. It cuts the solid at an angle of 35 degree. At an angle of 35 degree. Let this be angle 35 degree. This is the section plane. So when we get the section plane, normally we will find out the points cutting your cutting the generators. Along O dash, A dash, you are having 1 dash. O dash, B dash, you are having 2 dash. Similarly, you will have 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash, 7 dash and 8 dash along O dash C dash, O dash D dash, O dash E dash etc. up to O dash H dash. You know how to draw the uh, section also. The next step is to draw the development of the sectioned solid. So how to draw the development of the sectioned solid? First of all, you have to draw the development of the solid itself. So for drawing that solid, you, as we know, you have to find out the true length of the generator. You know, either O dash A dash or O dash E dash will be the true length. So I am going to take O dash E dash as the true length of the generator. So, O dash E dash will give you the true length of the generator that you can measure. The next step is actually you have to find out theta. Last class we have seen how to find out theta. What is the purpose of theta? Theta is the included angle of the sector which you are getting. Now you will get a sector as the development. So you have to find out theta for uh, this particular problem. So how to get theta? Theta is equal to 360 into r by the true length. So here r is equal to 30 mm. r is 30 mm and you can measure true length. So you will get some theta that you can actually find out. So anyway it may be According to my calculation, it may be uh, nearing to say 160 or on, between 160 and 170. So I'm, now I am going to draw the development. For drawing the development, I have to fix the vertex initially, that is O. The vertex I am marking initially, that is O. Then I know true length as the radius. I have to draw the true length line that is the that as the radius of the sector this is true length and suppose the angle is around 170 the same length you are getting here now you can draw an arc So you got 
the development. So this part will be A and this will also be A. But the problem here is you have to transfer all these points here then only you will get the section disorder. So how to do that? You have to divide this sector into 8 equal parts because you are actually taking the circumference of the circle as the length of the arc or arc length. So you have to divide this into 8 equal parts. So how to divide this into 8 equal parts? You have to go for angular division. What is angular division? You have studied that in your school level. That is if you have an angle, some angle you are having. So to divide this angle, you can keep say let this be A uh, or say I am taking another name X, Y and Z. So the angle Y, X, Z to be divided into two equal parts. So how can I divide? I have to take X as center. I am drawing two arcs of the same radius. Arbitrarily I can take the radius. The same arc, I am same radius I have to take and draw two arcs. After that, this from one intersecting point, I have to draw another arc and from that next one with the same radius I am drawing another arc. So the intersecting point, when I draw a line through the intersecting point, that will give you the angular division, two equal divisions or that is the angular bisector. So if the total angle is theta, if the total angle is theta, then this will be theta by 2, this also will be theta by 2. If you want to divide these two into again into uh, two equal parts, then again you can have another arc here of this radius or any arbitrary, uh, arbitrarily taken radius for these two and then again you can divide this into two equal parts. So now you have divided into four equal parts. Actually you can have the same division here also then you are dividing into four equal parts. Just we can apply this to this particular figure. So for A O A you are actually taking two intersecting arcs then from this you are drawing another two arcs through which you are drawing a line. So this corresponds to the angular bisector. Now you are going to divide this into four equal parts. You can have the same radius again here. You are dividing with some other radius or with the same radius whatever maybe there is not problem. You are having okay. In the same manner you can divide this also. You will get four divisions. Now again try the same method for these two. So you will get the next one. For this one you will get another one. So now you I think now you are familiar to draw the angular bisectors and dividing the sector into 8 equal parts. You can remove the unnecessary parts if it is making much problem for the visibility. Okay. Now we are going to draw the development of the section. So we have to transfer the points in the section to the development. How to do that? Always you have to remember that you are transferring the distances or you are transferring always the true length, not the apparent length. You are transferring the true length. So how to transfer the true length? You know O dash A dash you will get the true length. You know O dash A dash and O dash E dash will all, uh, are the uh, generators which give, give you the true length. So O dash to 1 dash you can take directly because it is along O dash E dash. That distance you can mark here. So this corresponds to 1. The same distance again you will get along A. Here also that is 1. So for getting the distance to 2 you have to transfer this to OE because that is the true length line. Either you can transfer to OE or to OA. Both are possible. So you can measure this distance O to 
uh, this particular distance you can measure and you can mark it. So this corresponds to 0.2. Now from 3 you are transferring that point and that distance you can mark and get along OC that is 3. 4 you can transfer to here and you will get it. Now this is 4. Point. Now you have to get point 0.5 that also you can transfer that distance to here. So this is point. Again 6 will be at the same level of 4. It is very simple once you have taken 4. After 4 so 6 will be here. 7 will be exactly along 3 the same level you have to keep. So this will be 7 and 8 will be exactly along 2. So that same distance you can take here. So this corresponds to 8. So now you have to draw a smooth curve connecting 1 to 1. So this is the smooth curve. So now what is the remaining portion? or what is the development of the section to solve it. In order to keep the outer edges as visible, you have to draw these portions as dark lines. The portions which I am drawing using a red pen can keep as the visible edge. All others should be light lines. So this is the development. Now you have taken the section in this direction. Suppose you are taking the section in the opposite direction. You imagine that you are taking the section in the opposite direction. I am simply drawing a line for the section. Now it is in the opposite direction. Then if you draw the development, you will get the development now. After that you have to draw the section here. So how to get the section? I am drawing only the middle line that is 0.5. So 0.5 will be say it will start from here 1 dash like this it will go and 5 dash O dash 5 dash will have the maximum length. So this is O and this will be 5. So this will be 1. This part also will be 1. So you will get a curve like this 1 5 and 1. The remaining points you will get so the visible portion will be like this, like this only. So the this particular portion, you, you uh, look at here, here you can have the top portion is say going towards the vertex, but now 0.5 is away from the vertex. These are the differences when you are taking the section towards the right or towards the left. Depending on that, you will get changes in the uh, final development of the section. I think it is very clear to you. We have started with the top view, then we have drawn the front view, then we have drawn the section. After that, we have drawn the development using the, uh, using theta is equal to 360 into r by l, you got the theta. Based on that, you have drawn the development. After drawing the development, you have divided that sector into 8 equal parts using the method of angular bisectors. I have told you how to draw that. After that, you have transferred all the points to here. Then we have seen that if we are doing the section in the opposite direction, we will get a section, the development of the section in the opposite direction. That also you have seen. I think now it is very clear to you. You can practice this one. Thank you very much.